day 10 of being on the Grand Union and we've done how many rocks today so far? Eight I think. Eight. Four to do. And then we can go, some shopping. go and get some supplies. We've got a nice um, couple of days at Tring Reservoir. A day and a half. Well, a day and a half. For two nights, a day and a half. Couldn't have stayed there much longer because they want to shove us off because they got a fishing competition. For the weekend, so they asked us all to leave. Well, yes. no, they put signs that certainly you appeared. Ask anybody, just no. bang them in and no. get tough. Yeah, there were signs appeared out of all outside of all the boats, which was quite um, bizarre. Frank, he's not looking. Put a sign in. <laughs> yeah. They're not looking. Anyway, I found out the reason why we never heard it is the fact that they were, they were using electric fence posts that we use in the fields. So all you've got to do is just push it in with your foot. That's why we never heard anything. Well, so we're, well, what's that? Because <laughs> we had a, a, a family fishing there all morning. Yep. I don't know how well they did. It's a very nice place. Well worth um, well worth a stopover. Yeah, it's nice. Lovely walking. Just the, as you leave, especially if you're going north, you can top up with water and empty your bins yeah. and your so they've toilets. We, we done the, sold off the wharf there, but they've managed to keep hold of the um, sanitary points there and the water points, so that was easy for us to do. But that was quite strange to moor up alongside a brand new building with people living in it, rather than a commercial building. This is the Aylesbury Arm coming up on the left hand side and this is what remains of the old wharf. So that's the Aylesbury Arm down there, narrow locks. We're not going down there this time. And this to say is the old wharf, it's been sold off. Um, that's one of the original buildings that has been converted. window looks awful in there. Let's choose the chose the wrong stuff on that. Serafina. It's a friend of mine. This is what they've done with the wolf. This is the old wharf, which you say has now been redeveloped with houses there, but we still have water point pump out facilities and rubbish here available. It actually look very nice at the moment, but it's actually still quite warm. The wind's warm, but it is nice to see this finally, finally opening up beautiful scenery that's around. Yeah, no more London. Yeah, too too busy. Too busy. Too I'm not a city person. No, we're not city people. Um but anyway An experience, let's put it that way, it was an experience. I think what made it, we wanted to get out of it is because of those locks as well, it's so heavy. Yes, they are heavy locks, but lot there isn't an awful lot of mooring as we found. No. Being a 70 foot boat, it's quite difficult um, to moor up. But anyway, we did find some nice places we moored up and yes, they were lovely. And, I could get out, we could get out and stretch our legs and walk the dogs and and everything. Um, shame that was quite a few pubs that we've come across have been boarded up and shut up. Yeah. Very sad, very sad. But this is, this is beginning to be more us, more rural. Oh, 
Bournemouth. I think it's Bournemouth. People that know us would know what the Cormorant means to us. There's more Cormorants up here than there are. Yeah, there is definitely a cormorant in the water in front of the boat. Yeah, I can see. see. Oh, there he is. There's yeah. traditional wings. You can see a lot of them going out. Well, loads of cormorants down here. It's just going off in front of the boat. Look, it's taking off. We did have a kingfisher fly across the bow yesterday morning. It was just wasn't quick enough with the camera this time. So that was quite nice to see. So that's the first kingfisher we've seen on the Grand Union. But cormorants, yeah, everywhere. And the cormorant, for those that don't know us, is, was the uh, emblem of uh, yeah, the, used to work at. Yeah, the building I used to work at. And um, yeah, it's got a big military connection, the cormorant. It's quite nice to see the locks cottages now. Um, because it's we've come out of the cities, I've more or less reverted to how they were. I mean, the, one of the last ones I took footage of must have still been, must the views couldn't have changed at all since it was built and I think the house said 1812. Front and back views, just surrounded by countryside as it would have been then. 1812 to 1936. So this is our first lock of the day. This is lock 39. We had a two night stop over at Tring Reservoir. Very pretty, nice for walking the dogs. First pub you see here, the White Lion, has been boarded up for a bit, which is a shame. But there's another pub, the Angus Retreat, which is just 50 metres away. And we went there the other night as well. So this is our first lock of the day. This is also very nice. This is also the Bluebell Tea Rooms just there in the White Building. Very nice, very popular. And behind here is a great big car park for the, the reservoir as well. So owned by CRT. Great place to come round. Got some beautiful sunrise yesterday morning. And the dogs loved it too. So this is it, first lock of the day. This is pretty and it's for sale. Well, that's my type of cottage. Beautiful. Oddly named a ship. Must have been an old pub once upon a time then. It was called the ship. But how pretty. This is Marlsworth Lock 38. Such gorgeous surroundings. And it drops down into Lock 37. I really love these really wide beams to walk across. See how wide it is, look at the size of the windlass and it's still got room on the side. Love them. Look at those glorious views. Masses of fruit on the trees. Look, loads and loads and loads of apples. That's what happens when you chuck your apple core out on the side. Eventually it will turn into a, a tree. It's a 
buying lots of fruit for everybody that wants it. This is Seabrook Lock, Lock 35. These are permanent, permanent moorings here. What a spectacular view. Seabrook Lock Cottage there. This lock was built in 1860. The beautiful lock cottage is Seabrook Lockkeeper's Cottage. Very much as it was probably in 1860, with pastures all down there as well. Very, very nice. This is still its original steps. We used to have these on our um, steps when we were a kid. In my house, we were in the railway village. And these were all very much a Victorian safety feature. And they're still here. Very, very pretty, the original steps. Yep. Ready? Yep. Yep, there's extensive repairs done on this bridge. Yeah, there was one coming. Yep. A sticky out, but I know. Okay, I'm just letting you know. So we've arrived at Lock Twenty Nine and this is going to be no more in your angling for those three days because they're filming Endeavour here. So we look forward to seeing this episode of Endeavour. Beautiful, beautiful buildings. You can see where they chose the location. Grove Church. The setting for Endeavour. Thank you. Got a 
touch it out for the filming. <laughs> no, they've got to touch it out for the filming over the weekend. This is the Grove Lock with the aptly named Grove Lock pub in it. 